Now we shall discuss about the mechanism of apoptosis. Apoptosis depends on an intracellular proteolytic cascade mediated by caspases. Caspases are a family of proteases that have a cysteine residue at their active site. They cleave the target protein at specific aspartic acid because of this. They have been named as caspases. C for cysteine and ASP for aspartic acid. Caspases are synthesized in the cell as inactive precursor known as procaspase. These procaspase molecules are the proenzymes which are activated by proteolytic cleavage. Procaspase cleavage occur at one or two specific aspartic acid residue mediated by caspases which are already active. So friends, this figure explains the activation of procaspase. These are the two molecules of procaspase. These are the two prodomains. This is the amino terminus and these are the carboxyl terminus. So these procaspase molecules are cleaved by the caspases which are already active. In this process, the procaspase molecules are cleaved into a large subunit and a small subunit. In this process, the prodomains are usually removed. And the large subunit and the small subunit together form a heterodimer. Two such heterodimer assemble to form an active tetramer. Once activated, the caspase molecules cleave and activate other procaspase molecules. From the earlier stages of animals' development, healthy cells continuously make procaspases and other proteins concerned with apoptosis. So, the apoptotic machinery is always in place. All it requires is a trigger to get activated. So how the caspase cascade is initiated and more particularly how the first initiator procaspase is activated. Initiator procaspases have a long prodomain that contains a caspase recruitment domain that enables them to assemble with the adapter protein to form an activation complex. After incorporated into such a complex, the initiator procaspases are brought into close proximity that is sufficient to activate them. So they cleave each other thereby making the process irreversible. The initiator caspases then cleave and activate the downstream executional procaspases that results in initiation of the caspase cascade and amplification of the death signal throughout the cell. 